to my channel. So I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. I am basically going to be starting to push out loads of festival content. It's my favourite time of year and I think you guys know why and that is because I can wear a shit ton of glitter on my face and on my body and face gems and everything and it's just so much fun and I love to get creative with like glitter and face gem makeup. So my video for you guys today is how to create the sort of glitter tear look. So I'm gonna be doing the eye makeup for you today. I've already got like lips and base and brows on, so it's just purely an eye makeup tutorial. If you wanna know how I do my brows and my base makeup, I will pop links below for you because I've already filmed videos on them. So yeah, I'm gonna just kick up this video with the eye makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna start with the top of my lids. For this, I'm gonna be using Obsessive Compulsive, com bleh, I can't even say it. I'm gonna be using Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics pigment in Jubilee. I absolutely love this one. It's like a minty green metallic. And in the shop in New York, where I purchased these from, the lady gave me a few little tips and they're really really helpful so one of them was to use their tarred and feathered lip balm duo now you can use this anywhere on your face she showed me if you use one of the colors as a base then it can change the way the pigment looks so i'm going to be applying the black shade on my lid first and then applying the pigment over the top so here it goes for this i'm going to be taking a brush just an eye brush and um, this one's from my Naked palette and I'm going to be taking the black shade I'm just going to be working it into my lid like so and the other one Now moving on to the pigment, which is my favourite part because I absolutely love watching the colour come to life. So I'm going to be taking like a thin lipstick brush, taking some of the pigment, and then I'm going to be blending it in on top of the cream. And it literally comes to life and I absolutely love it. It's literally perfect for any mermaids out there like me. So it goes like a really nice metallic -y green. So there you have it. That's the lids nearly done. That's the pigment put on and I absolutely love the way it looks. So now I'm just gonna get sort of a blending brush, just like this one from Spectrum. I'm gonna add some of the pigment onto it, just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna blend into my crease. So there you go, just a really easy, simple eye makeup look there for the top of the lids. Now moving on to the tears part, which is my favourite bit. So I'm going to be taking the pigment again, just because I want to use this as a base just to create the shape. Now when it comes to the glitter tears, I like to just do two really easy triangles under my eyes. I prefer this tears look because then I can kind of add gems and things going down but I'll get onto that later. You can kind of create actual sort of tears if you want but I personally just like the triangles, it's just really easy. So I'm going to start by going underneath my eye just to create the first section of the triangle. And then I'm going to figure out a point that I want it to come to. Now I don't want to cut, I don't want it coming too far down because I'm going to be putting gems on later on. So I reckon I usually do it to the bottom of where my eye kind of socket is. So I'm just going to draw it out now with the 
pick one. And I use my eye as a guide to start the triangle from the outer and the inner part. And then I just create the triangle. And it's great by using a pigment as the base because you can kind of just get your triangle shape that you're happy with. If you mess up, you can kind of just brush it away. So I'm happy with that triangle, so I'm just going to fill it in with the rest of the pigment. As you can see, the difference between applying the black cream underneath to just putting the pigment on is like a massive difference. The pigment on its own is really good for like blending or you could use it as a highlight if you wanted to. Or for glitter too, like this. So, that's one triangle done. And moving on to the next one. So, those are the two triangles done for the glitter tears. It's already coming together and I love it. So now on to the best part, which is the glitter. So I've got a little bag of glitter from the Gypsy Shrine. It's just an aqua mix of sort of large hexagons and tiny ones. So it's a nice little mix there. To apply it, I'm just gonna be using a brush, but for the base to stick the glitter on, I'm just gonna be using some Vaseline. You can use anything from Vaseline to eyelash glue, anything like that. I prefer Vaseline because obviously it's not gonna leave my skin dry or anything afterwards because I'm quite sensitive on the underneath of my eyes. I'm just gonna go in and dab the Vaseline on top of the triangle that I've created, making sure I keep the shape. So, on to the next one. Ooh, and now I'm ready for the glitter. So I'm just going to clean that same brush. I'm going to dip it into the glitter bag and then I'm just going to dab inside the triangle, trying to keep with the shape. The good thing about using a brush like this is that you can sort of outline the triangle again with the brush to apply the glitter. So that's one side done, and it's looking so good already. Now onto the second eye. So there the glitter tears all done now. Now you can either leave it like this or you can keep going with the glitter and the face gems and which is obviously what I'm gonna do. I am going to be applying some cute little flower gems to the bottom of the tears. I just got these from eBay. I think I typed in like craft gems or something. For this though, I am going to be using eyelash glue because I need something a little bit stronger to hold the gem because it's obviously a little bit heavier than glitter. So just pop some eyelash glue on the back. And now I'm just gonna pop it at the bottom of the tear like so. And as you can see, it does kind of just add something and makes it look a little bit more finished, but you can just do the glitter tear like this. It still looks really cool. So that's one done. And then goes the second. So now moving on to a black liquid liner. So I've got this one called Skinny from Ico. And before I finish off the tears, I'm just gonna let the glue dry on the gems. I'm gonna go in and quickly do a feline flick. That's the flick done. 
and now I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to add three dots. Now I'm going to start with a slightly larger one and then I'll work my way down to a smaller one and I'm just going to do it underneath the flower gem. This one. Second one and then the last one is literally just a little dot. first one, second one slightly smaller and the last one is just a dot, like so. So to finish off this look I'm going to be adding in some mascara but before I do that I'm going to be curling my lashes with some eyelash curlers. I like to squeeze them a couple of times just to tame the lashes up. This mascara is from YSL, it's called the Shock Mascara. Absolutely love it. It's So mascara is pretty much done, I'm just going to quickly do the bottom lashes but I'm going to change my mascara to the Clinique Chubby Lash. I like this one because it's just great for your bottom lashes. It's also good to pop some mascara on the bottom lashes just in case you've got glitter stuck to them. Just get a seal. I'm not going heavy with the bottom lashes. I'll lightly do them. Cool! And also one more thing for the finishing touch, just some black coal liner for the inside of my lids. So I've just got this one from Rimmel London called Magnifies. It's double-ended which is great. So I'm just going to use the pointier end. I'm going to go in and just darken my lash line on the bottom and just the corner of the top one. And there you have it. Some glitter tears, which is perfect for the festival season. Absolutely love this one I've created. So as you can see, I've kind of themed it all blue, obviously. Um, but yeah, it was really, really easy to create. I hope you thought it was as well. And you don't need many things, just some Vaseline to stick the glitter on with or eyelash glue. Again, the glitter was from the Gypsy Shrine, which I'll pop links below if you want to shop that. They've also got a lot of other glitters. And actually, as I'm on the subject of Glitters and the Gypsy Shrine, I thought I would tell you that I've got a really, really exciting collaboration with them coming out very, very soon. So I've designed two face gems and four glitters. And yeah, I cannot wait for you all to see. So obviously I will be doing tutorials on how to use them and looks that you can create with them. So that'll be coming soon. So I think they'll go on sale in April. So yeah, exciting. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All the links are below if you want to shop this look or know how to do my base or my brows. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.